Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the concept of DNS as a domain name system. So before going into the detail, we all know that when a computer or electronic gadget becomes the part of the internet, then that 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 computer or that electronic gadget is assigned some of the IP addresses. For, for example, in this case, this computer, this this um, handset and this tablet and this laptop, they all have been assigned an IP address. And if you want to access any of these electronic gadgets, then we need to have an IP address with us. But for us human beings, this is really challenging to remember all the IP addresses used by these all nodes. Therefore, what we do, we assign them some human readable names called domain names are the URL. And then this becomes really easier for us to remember those human readable names instead of IP address. For example, it's easier to remember google.com than any of its IP address like 172.217.25.142. So this, is, this becomes easier to remember these the human readable names. But now we need a mechanism to convert those uh, human readable name into IP address. And this is where domain name system comes uh, as a rescue for us and it converts the human readable names into IP addresses. So typically what happens when a user, for example, the user of this computer and this user, if this user types uh, using any browser uh, like google.com, it, it, it types google.com in any of the browser, then first of all, this computer, uh, the operating system available in that computer, it first checks its own memory or the cache memory to see if it already has an IP address for google.com. And if the cache memory has an IP address, then this computer will use that IP address and they'll, they'll send a request to the computer which actually holds the google.com contents and and that node after receiving the request from the client will send back some of the data like this and once the user has received the sufficient data then this user actually displays the the web page which we requested for so this was the case when the cache memory has an IP address for the URL which we want to visit. But in case, if the user types any, any URL or any domain name, for example, again, google.com, and that computer asks is, is, uh, its operating system that do you have uh, uh, the IP address for google.com, and in case that uh, memory doesn't hold the IP address for the google.com, then this user will send a request to the DNS server asking that, do you have an IP address for google.com? And now the DNS server, after getting the request from the client, uses its own database. That database is actually uh, roughly called the phone book for the internet. And in that phone book, uh, for the internet which is available with the DNS server, they hold some database about the the mapping. So they hold the database for this uh, IP address, for the IP address and uh, this uh, DMN, DN, uh, domain name and the IP address. So it has the mapping available in its database and it finds out that which is the IP address which is mapped to that specific website. So in this case, it finds out that there is some IP address assigned to google.com and after looking at the database, the DNS server sends back the information about the IP address for that requested URL, which in our, in our case is google.com. And the user after receiving that IP address, so this user after receiving this IP address will send a request to the computer which actually holds the content for the google.com. So it sends a request by using that IP address. And in response to that request, that computer sends back some data to the requesting client or the requesting user like this. And once the sufficient data has been received, our requested web page will be displayed in our browser. So 
DNS system is a system which is going to convert our human readable names into IP address. So this was a simple introduction of the DNS uh, server. But DNS server in, in itself actually uh, works in a hierarchical manner. So this DNS server has a lot of detail into it. And uh, we will look into the details of DNS server are the hierarchy which it follows to resolve the human readable name into IP address. So we will discuss that thing in detail into our next slide. And uh, thank you for your attention and thank you for your time. See you in our next video that will be on the hierarchy of hierarchy of DNS server. Thank you.